Hey y'all, here we are again. Another uh, DIY in the driveway uh, under, under lockdown screen printing demo. So what we got today is a different form of making a stencil on the screen using no technology. You know, yet again, a technology department here is, there's a paintbrush and a medium, which I'll talk about. And uh, what we're doing is some more psychedelic lettering because that's where my head's at right now. And also too, it's something I can do just by sketching something out. No computer, no references really, just what, what I have around the house. So <clears throat> I got some of my inspiration here. This really crude, amateurish poster by my favorite garage punk band from LA, The Seeds. And this was a local San Fernando Valley show. So as far as influences, here's the main influence of my psychedelic lettering, The Seeds logo, because I've been playing their record since I was about 14. And so whenever I do this stuff, it's just like, I swear, my E's and my D's look like The Seeds logo. I can't even help it. So what I have done, I've created a, a design on the screen using white glue and some dye. So I thinned it down a little bit because you don't want it too thick and goopy. You want it to pour just like our inks. You want to thin down the inks before we print. So just same thing as with this. You want it to be able to move. So Elmer's glue and some dye in there to give it some color so I can see what I'm doing. And when you paint paint this on the screen, use one of these, these kind of semi-stiff nylon bristle brushes. They, they tend to get this material into the screen there. So my stencil making process is, is seriously a paintbrush, Elmer's glue, and then we're gonna see what this is in a second. This is lacquer filler. This is the second part of what we're gonna do today. You can get this at any screen print supplier. It's the block out for water-based inks for really long runs because this is tough stuff. But if you don't have this, you could, you could use nail polish base. Just get the bulk container of clear from a beauty supply store, add a couple of cheap red bottles of nail polish in there to give it some color. So this is a lacquer based medium. This dissolves with solvent. The white glue dissolves with water. It's water-based. So what I've done, first I generated my art and look at this. Wow. Okay. I got some of my beautiful sketching there. Wow. Gee, I don't think I'd even pass art 31A with that. And my reference point, which was this bizarre album cover. So I sketched out my lettering. I put the second part on there just for reference. And since the mesh is transparent, I was able to see through here and paint this on the top side of the screen, not the other side, the top side. So you paint it and what you see green is what's gonna print. Because remember, this is water soluble. It will dissolve with water. Okay, so let me pull the, my reference out of there. So when you're painting the design on the screen and doing this other step, you're gonna want, you're gonna want your first, well, your reference, reference art taped down. You're also gonna want some space up off the board because you don't, when you're painting this, you don't want it to get on, get on your artwork and it'll, it'll stick and if it dries to the paper, It'll, it'll tear off. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my lacquer block out or lacquer filler. And see, it's, it kind of pours too. And my nylon Bondo card that I tell all my students to get. Okay, and without, without making it contact the table, and you wanna do this fast, so like, because if you do this too thick, it's gonna be real hard to get off when you do the second step. So you wanna work with this fast, leave no gloss. Okay, and then put some more. 
Notice a little handy hint too, you just stab a hole in, in there with a screwdriver and seal it with tape. So one swipe. Make sure you get all the areas too, because you see like it's thicker and thinner. Okay, so it's nice and thin. And when this dries, I'll do another video where I'm gonna wash the green block out away. So if you look at it from this side, you can see it closed up the open mesh. It is sitting on the top of this, gr this green layer that I painted on here. So the green will wash away. The green is gonna be our printing area. So this is the method they did screens a long, long time ago. And if you really didn't care about the screen, you could probably do this with acrylic paint if you let it dry really well, like overnight or in the sun all day, because the acrylic paint won't wash away. But the white glue with food coloring will with water. So, like I said, if, if you use the acrylic paint like that, uh, you might not be able to use that screen for any, anything else, but it will get the job done. So as soon as the red lacquer block outs dry, I can wash this away. And you're gonna to see tomorrow, it, it doesn't just come right out. So I'm gonna to try to do something to speed it up and you're gonna see that in the next video. All right, cheers.